So it's day one. We've done about four runs on the mountain and it seems like I have broken my rib and uh, maybe my shoulder. Uh, but it's heavily swollen and this is the lovely doctor that's helping me out, who's been an absolute star. So now I'm having a painkiller injection, uh, which is really important because it fucking really hurts. Ah oh, man, so now we're getting in this ambulance to have my x-ray. So let me uh, see if I've broken my shoulder, my clavicle or not. This is really weird, I'm in this, um, this hospital and there's just no one here. That's the guy that's just driven me here. He's just absolutely dead. Oh, fuck it out. Ah, oh, mate. <laughs> if I get cold and I start sneezing, that's going to be it. I've had my ex I'm just feeling a bit sad now, I suppose. The thing what happens is when you have a, when you have a fall or something, you, first of all, you just want to feel better and get down off the mountain. And, uh, and then you realise that uh, your first day of your snowboarding holiday is be fucked for the rest of the holiday, really. So, um, but the but the key is that I, I can't do anything about it. Um, just to chill out for the rest of the week and not get too uh, upset that I'm not snowboarding because shit happened, didn't it? Moment of truth now is my getting my x-rays are just looking at them now, just received them. Oh, I ain't broken it. Pain in the arms. <laughs> I, can't, I can't laugh or breathe or anything. Just fucking everything hurts. So I've got four four fractures. Four fractures and here uh, the crack, uh, clavicula, the head of clavicula. Ruptures, not fracture. Rupture. Yeah. Four fractures in a rupture, but these fractures, uh, fractures are, you can't see very well, they are bad ones because... One, two, three now. Yeah, so three ones that are kind of, there's movement and they're a little bit dangerous apparently, so I might have to go to hospital. Well, I, yeah, we're just going to wait now to see whether I have to have some sort of horrible operation. Oh, this doctor's just so lovely. Just finding out now, he's, the surgeon's called to see if we have to have an operation. And I really, don't I really don't want one. I really don't want one, but the brakes are in a really weird position. Um, they've, they're kind of crossing each other, so there's, there's a bit of danger, I think, of, um, of the lungs and all that sort of thing, so I've got to take any chances, but just the idea of going out an operation pisses me off. So we're now driving to the uh, hospital. Um, yeah, we're spending quite a bit of time together today, and uh, it's really snowy. It's sort of thin snow, so it's a bit scary. But um, yeah, so I get a second opinion there. Get handed over to the the main big hospital in Sofia, and uh, I'm a bit freaked out because I've got to do MRI scans and that. And I, for some reason, I don't know why it freaked me out, but um, yeah, so I'm proper tired now. But what is full on is the journey. We've been past two crashes, and then it's properly, and we've just seen someone just properly slide out. It's right, national parliament in Bulgaria. It's very, very big church from. Everything Bulgarian people. The Russian church. Yeah, it's beautiful. There you go. It's very, very nice. I just had my x ray in the hospital in Sofia, and the minute it went, there was a power cut. Um, oh, it's really weird because no, nobody really speaks English, and I don't know what they're saying about me. It's all gone mental here. They're all. Um, Talking at me in Bulgarian and there's been bowel cuts, it's all going to, I can't laugh, it hurts too much. I've been pushed down in a wheelchair and I don't know where I'm going. I, don't know what, I, don't, I haven't got a clue what's going on. Oh, mate, I don't know what. Stephen? Yeah. Faulkner. Faulkner? Yeah. 
Колко години си? На колко години си? So we're going off rages now, and I haven't eaten for 12 hours. I'm getting really lonely now because I'm hungry. Um, but nobody speaks English, man. I don't know what's going on. I've had the ECG, ultrasound, um, and it's really cold, and there's been all these power cuts. So it's, it's all a bit mental. And they're not very friendly, man. You know, like you, if one guy that's really nice, but the rest are a bit harsh, and it's, it sounds really poncy, doesn't it? But I do. You know, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm knackered now. Yeah, it's just like that. Could be worse, etc. Yeah. So I've got the gowns. So I took my clothes off, put these on with very little help. Um, and I can't actually use my left arm, so I had to ask for some help, and I don't think they were that happy about it. But um, they're lovely people, I'm sure, and probably overworked. And uh, but it's a real, it's a real wake-up call, you know. <coughs> so, I want to go home. Okay. You so I've just been taken down for my second X-ray, so we're seeing if there's any bleeding in the lung, and if not, hopefully, uh, I might be able to go. So I just went down for my x-ray and um, I've, I've got these massive pyjamas and uh, I had to stand there and put my arms up and, and I was like, no, I can't do that. And they said, they've got to. So I stood there basically with my arms up, my trousers round my ankles, a pair of walking boots on and my cock out. And uh, <laughs> I just stood there for about 10 minutes while they were opening the door into the... Uh, into the corridor. So that will one day be a funny story. At the moment, it's horrifying, but uh, yeah. Oh, something just clicked and seized up and now I can't breathe properly. Uh, can you get a nurse? Can you? I just need help, I can't get up and... My, I can't, it hurts to breathe and I can't get up and I need help. No, you've had an operation. Is there a doctor? Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, there's nothing. He just basically looked at me as if to say... So it's half an hour now I've been trying to get out of bed. Someone was called ten minutes ago and the nurse basically came in. And was told I needed help, went back out again. 10 minutes, so I just can't work big, basically do seem to be helping me. I basically feel like I want to drink and I, want, I need the toilet. It's not too much to fucking ask, is it? What's she say? She said someone to come. She said someone to come. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> you 
your love. <laughs> So I finally got up after an hour, which is a victory. Now it's a standing up bit. When I put weight on my leg, it sort of shoots up. Oh, yes. Look at that. Stood up. And these poor guys have just been kept awake by me bitching and phoning people. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. So I've got up, but there's some serious clicking going on in my ribs. And I think it probably. Uh, uh, there's just. Uh, the painkillers have completely worn off. I had one at four o'clock yesterday. And it's now, I don't know, like six in the morning or. So. I think of fags. Uh, yeah, they all. Stinks of fags in the ward. Because they all smoke, I think. But basically, there's someone that empties the bins. Uh, but. The, like 40 minutes ago, she was asked to get help and nothing. So I'm armed with Google Translate. I'm going to use Google Translate to try and get some pain relief. So let's have a look. Can I ask that lady over there? Getting a shot on the arse, finally. Boom. Uh, got discharged, been turned off, got, told I've got a hematoma, a clot on the wall of my lung, but on the outside, apparently. Um, after all the thing of not being able to get up, I think I did something there, I don't, I don't know. Um, and so I've sorted all that, got the pain relief, and I uh, can't get hold of the insurance company now, their emergency contact number, which just comes in with the thing, so I'm sorry the number's not available, um, which is awesome. So, uh, but what is good is my lovely girlfriend Jo, has got the embassy onto it now, um, just to try and get me some something, some movement, some help or assistance, because I, like I said, I can't really travel on my own. <laughs> it's so funny, the doc so when the doctor comes, they come in and tell you that it's all got to be tidy and that <laughs> and they make the bed, and everything's got to go away, you can't have any shit out, like, so I've got, I think they've let me, but it's all got, it's like the king coming, you know what I mean, it's like the queen. Awesome. Look, look, they've just made, they've just made Bobby's bed. <laughs> they came in this morning and did it and tried to lay me down. I was like, I can't lay down. And they're like, you've got to lay down for the doctor, so you've got to get on your back. And uh, like, oh, prepared. So it's confusing. Do you want to So we're so close, look, bags are packed. Um, the ambulance guy's here waiting to take me, the rep's here, everybody's here. And the one thing they've said now is that I've got to pay my hospital bill up front before I leave. Or if I don't, <laughs> I have to spend like another three days in the hospital. <laughs> Just no, if I have to sell myself, I wouldn't get much for myself at the moment. Um, but yeah, but apparently I thought it was going to be really expensive, but it might not be as bad as I think. So it, it might be a, something that I can do and then claim back. But hey, uh, there you go. So nice one. <laughs> <laughs> here we go back to Borovets and the hotel, money sorted, everything is uh, joyous. Yeah, everything's joyous. <laughs>